hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime king and today i'm going to be doing part 40 of what if sonavi was naruto's mother remember to get this one to 100 like as usual share this to all of your friends on your social media platform and also go ahead and check out anime king 2 and if this is the first time i'm hearing of it go ahead and click the top of the description and if you enjoy the 100 plus what ifs over there go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join the anime king 2 family and also go ahead and check out uchi and naruto the sage and i also posted the last episode of what if naruto got a new bloodline yes the ending episode so go ahead and check out that and enjoy and remember if you're new to anime king over here what are you waiting for guys go ahead and click that red subscribe button and join the anime king family and thank you for all of your help and your support and also comment down below and tell me if you're new i'll be replying and talking back to all of you so without further ado let's get straight into this so the last part we left off naruto faced off against tamari as he won that battle he tried to get answers out of her but he didn't get any it was then round three as Naruto and Yujito was the first match. As both Naruto and Yujito start to play with each other first, just testing out each other's abilities until the fight get more serious. As the both of them went all out, destroying the entire arena. As the Fire Daimyo and the Lightning Daimyo also bet 80 million Ryu to which one of them would win. As Naruto in the end won, as he used his Mokitans shocking everyone. He uses Mokiton as he pushed the Nibi back into the seal as he defeated Yujito and won the battle. As he then went and talked to her, as he then passed out. Snadi then brought both of them back to the infirmary as Yujito got healed by the other medics while Snadi healed her son. As Naruto then went around to watch the other match that was Gara and Sasuke. So yeah guys, that was basically the last part we left off. You guys can switch across the playlist and check it out yourself. So let's start this new episode. So the match between Sasuke is roughly going to be like canon. So it's going to start when Gar was in his spear of sand. As he was feeling a warm sensation on his arm. Something that he's never felt before. As Sasuke stabbed him with a Shidori. It was then when a small drop of blood dropped on his arm. As he finally figured out what he was feeling. As he then let out a horrified scream, blood, my blood, he screamed out. When Temari and Kankuro heard their brother's scream of horror, they became fearful of what will happen next because nothing like this has ever happened before. Gara has never been wounded. After hearing Gara's scream, Sasuke tried to pull his arm from the sand spear, but he couldn't as the sand was gripping onto his arm tightly. Realizing that he needed to do something before his arm was pulled off, Sasuke channeled more lightning chakra as his arm was still right in Gara's shoulder. As this caused Gara to scream out in pain from the lightning as it traveled through his body. Eventually, Sasuke managed to pull back his arm, but as soon as he did, he had to flip back as a yellow demonic arm came out as well. In the finalist box, Damn, is that what I think it is? Karu yelled in fear. It is, said Yujito, as she was fearful of what will happen to this village and the villagers as she looked at the stadium. If the maniac, psychotic, one tail Shikaku went on loose. Damn it, this isn't good, Naruto thought. In the audience, this is not what's supposed to happen, said a fearful Baki. Who was sweating heavily with fear. He really is a monster, Kiba said, as he looked at the demon arm. Kakashi Sensei, what is going on? Sakura asked, as she wondered. Asuma Sensei said both Ino and Choji. Instead of answering their student question, both Jonin Senseis just stared down at the arena with a concerned look on their faces. This is the worst possible situation, Yamato thought. Damn it! I was afraid that this would happen. That sand brat lost it. We have to intervene. He's going to destroy the entire stadium if we don't. Thought Kushina. Back in the arena, 
After Sasuke fled from the arm, the arm retreated back into the sand spear. Damn it, what the hell was that? It nearly ripped my arm off, thought Sasuke as he stared into the hole that Ishidori made inside of the sand spear as he saw a shuriken yellow eye staring back at him. It was then a large burst of power was caused making everyone in the stadium shiver in fear. The sand spear started to crack as Gara fell out of it as his shoulder was still bleeding and he was holding onto it but his head was down. Before Sasuke could do anything, white feathers started to fall out of the sky. Like Sasuke and Naruto, the other Chunin candidates, noticed a white feather falling from the sky. It was starting to make them feel drowsy. Damn it, again Jutsu, Naruto thought. As Naruto said release as he freed himself from the effect of the game Jutsu. Yujito and the others quickly followed as they freed themselves from the game Jutsu. The operation has begun. Thought Temari and Konkuru. Kushina, this is. Said Yamato as he felt the Genjutsu start to take effect. Yeah, someone is causing this Genjutsu. As the both of them used release as they got free from the Genjutsu. As the rest of them free themselves from the Genjutsu. So the invasion finally begin. Thought Baki as he looked down. In the cage boot, the three Kages quickly realized that something was going on. But before any of them could do anything, the Katsukage then spoke. Let the games begin, he said. As soon as he said this, the Katsukage guards pulled two pin on smoke grenade, causing the Katsukage's box to envelop in smoke outside of the village. Hidden, a small army was waiting for the signal so they could begin. Their attack, a small army, consists of Sound and San Shinobis. As they then saw the signal, a large explosion erupted from the Chunin Stadium. Upon seeing that, the two forces went into action as they rushed towards the village wall. Two, Sound Shinobi pulled out two stroll as they went through Hansign, summoning Jutsu as there was a puff. As outside of the wall, giant snakes appeared and break down the wall, entering the village. As the Konoha ninjas prepared themselves, as they were then attacked by an army of Sound and San Shinobis rushing into the village. Back in the stadium, damn it, the Hokage cried Kushina as she and the other Konoha ninjas saw the explosion in the Kage's box. Leave the Hokage to us, said the Anvu commander as he and his two team rushed towards the Kage's box. Right, said Kushina as she went off to face off into sound and San Shinobis. Damn it, yelled Jiraiya as he rubbed his eyes after the flash grenade. Saratobi, Snade cried out as she looked around the room through the smoke for her sensei. Kaze Kage, what is the meaning of this? asked Saratobi as he looked at the Kazakagi. At the same time, the Anvu commander and his two squads arrived as he told the first squad to protect the Hokage and the second squad to go and help the Fire Daimyo and other lords. As soon as the other team left, the Anvu commander and his team came under attack by the Kazakagi's guards who appeared out of the smoke. The guards were easily dispatched by the Anvu commander who quickly sliced them down with his kunai. Jiraiya and Snade then turned towards Sartobi as they rushed towards him, but as soon as they reached, the Kazekage appeared behind him with a kunai at his neck as he then jumped up on the roof as the Sanin followed after him. Not sure what was happening, the Mizukage, the Raikage and their guards moved out of the smoke, not wanting to get caught in the confusion. At the same time, the Anvu commander saw four blurs sped past him as he turned around and the two guards that tried to attack him, their body was gone. As he then quickly looked up at his Hokage as he was now surrounded by four unknown shinobi. Looks like it's finally time commented a dark skinned man with four arms 
that was wearing a sewn headband. Let's do this, a man said with silver hair, with something on his back, as all of them went through hand sign, as they slammed their hand on the ground and created a purple barrier around the Hokage and the Kazekage. As one of the Anbus rushed at the barrier and tried to break through it, but as he didn't touch it, he immediately burst into flames. As the Anbu commander stopped his team after witnessing that, back in the stands, from their position, Kushina, Kakashi and the others could see the large purple barrier surrounding the Hokage and the others prevented them from getting any help from the Anbu. I don't believe it. They were able to stop our Anvu, said Yamato in surprise. They are clearly not normal shinobi, commented Kakashi. We need to go help, said Kushina, but she was then stopped by an Anvu. Beer, what the hell do you think you're doing? Get out of the way. We need to go help the Hokage. He's in danger, Kushina yelled, as the Anvu was blocking her path. But Beer didn't respond, as four sound shinobis jumped in front of him. So... You're an imposter, said Kakashi. As Kushina got pissed, as she realized if he has beer mask, that means he killed him, and she was a part of the Anvu, and beer was her friend. As she gripped her katana tight and rushed forward at blinding speed. On the rooftop, currently trapped inside of the purple barrier, the two Sanin steer off with the Kazekage as he was still holding Saratobi, as a kunai was at Saratobi's throat. As neither of them was willing to act, as they were fear what will happen to Saratobi if they try anything. I never expected for the San to betray Konoha like this. Tell me what happened, Saratobi asks, as the Kazekagi was still silent holding the kunai at his neck. As he finally spoke at treaty, it's just a disguise to fool the enemy. The real battle begins now. Are you trying to start a war? Sonali asks. As both she and Jiraiya look at the Kazakage. Why yes, the Kazakage responded with a small chuckle. Kazakage, I am pleading with you. Stop this madness. There is still time. Whatever problem we have between us, we can talk it out, said Saratobi, as he didn't want a war. The Kazekage started to chuckle. You are still an old, delusional man, Saratobi Sensei, he said. Once he said this, the Sanins and the Hokage realized that they were not dealing with the Kazekage. In the finalist box, damn it, so that is what they are up to. They were planning on attacking us, Naruto shouted out as he saw what happened in the cage box. Damn it, I should have realized it sooner. They were probably wanting to use Gara to make him transform into his Biju state to destroy us all. Yujito, what the hell is going on? Karu asks as she turned at her teammate since she didn't exactly understand what was going on here. As the last time she checked, the San and Konoha were allies. Looks like the San has betrayed Konoha, Yujito replied. As she narrowed her eyes, crap, we have just been caught in the middle of a war. We need to get to be sensei now, she thought. Naruto then turned his gaze as he turned to Temari and Konkuro. You bastard, as he was about to pull out his katana, but Temari beat into it as she swung her large fan, releasing a gust, sending all of them in the final box as they slammed into the wall. Once that was over, the both of them jumped down into the arena to help their brother. Back on the roof, my my, when Gara was going to do his thing, I was planning on stealing Sasuke and Naruto, said the fake Kazekage, but it seems like I can't do that yet. At the mention of her son, Snade growled as she started to take a step forward as Jiraiya stopped her and shook his head, tell her not to. I see, so you're after not only Konoha, but Sasuke and Naruto, said Saratobi. Do you actually believe that Konoha is that important? He asks. It's a pity that Gara wasn't able to transform in time. 
you would have all seen something very interesting. But still, it matters a little since ignorance has driven the final nail into Konoha's coffin and I have won. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Jiraiya said in anger. Indeed, we don't know the results of something till the very end, said Saratobi. I believe I thought you that, Orochimaru. After hearing his name, he quickly pulled off the robe, showing them. So, you figured it out, said Orochimaru. I knew it, both Snadi and Jiraiya said at the same time, as they have been keeping an eye on the Kazekage. Orochimaru said the Mizukage as she was in shock as she was standing just outside of the purple barrier. So all this time it was Orochimaru pretending to be the Kazekage, A said out loud. I knew that there was something wrong about him. So what happened? To the Kazekage for real, C asked. Who oh, no, said Darui. I knew that this day would come, said Saratobi. But just because I have gotten old, that doesn't mean that you can take my head easily. You tell him, old man, said Jiraiya. If you want Sensei's life, you have to go through us first, said Tsunade as she prepared to fight as well. As Urchimar chuckled, I had every intention of doing so. My dear Sonavi, Orochimaru said with a smirk. In the stance, it seems that a lot of shinobis are here to try and destroy Konoha, Asuma remarked, as he then looked up at the purple barrier, as he was worried about his trapped father. Stay safe, Dad, he thought. Back in the finalist box, ouch, my head, Naruto said, as he got to his feet slowly after Tamari send him into the wall by the gust of wind. Damn fangirl, Naruto cursed. As he then looked over at the others, Hey Yujito, Karu, are you okay? Fine, said Yujito as she picked up herself. Yeah, I'm okay, said Karu. But that is more than I can say for that sand witch once I get my hands around her neck. That's going to have to wait, said Naruto as he looked around and saw that the two sand siblings were gone. Naruto then saw Shikamaru as Shikamaru was lying down. He was under the Genjutsu as Naruto was surprised. Shikamaru got caught by this Genjutsu as he then tried to free Shikamaru but he didn't wake up. As Naruto wondered if Shikamaru was knocked out when he was blasted into the wall. As Naruto checked his head for he any head injuries but there was none. As he then noticed Shikamaru's eye twitch. No. He couldn't have, said Naruto. Don't tell me. He then went to Shikamaru's ears. As he took in a breath. Wake up, Naruto screamed. As Shikamaru jumped up. As Shikamaru was rubbing his ears. Why so loud? You know damn well what that was for, said Naruto. You, stop the genjutsu and you pretending to be asleep? Jeez, Naruto, you can be such a pain. I don't want to get involved in this. Let the other shinobis deal with this, Shikamaru said as he then yawned. Shikamaru, you lazy ass jerk. You're going to get involved into this fight even if I have to drag you in it. This is your village and you have to defend it. With everything you have, yell Naruto. What a troublesome blonde, muttered Shikamaru. Go and find Shino. I am sure he will be more than happy to help you. Naruto looked around. I haven't seen Shino. As Naruto wondered if Shino went after Temari and Kankuro. Wanted to get into this fight soon as possible. Naruto quickly took out a food pill as he looked at it. As his mother told him to not take any more food pills because of the side effects. But Naruto wanted to fight. Sorry mom he said. Yes I'll have to break my promise. As he swallowed the food pill. After taking it. Naruto felt his chakra reserves replenish. Once he was back to full strength, Naruto turned to Yujito and Karu. I think the both of you should go and find B Sensei. This fight doesn't concern you, said Naruto. As Yujito stood there for a while, as she wanted to help, but she knew that she must go and find B. Come on, Yujito, said Karu. I am coming, said Yujito. 
Before she leaves, she turned at Naruto. Naruto, watch yourself and don't die. If anyone is to defeat you, it will be me, as Naruto smirk. Don't worry, I won't get killed. And if I did, my mom would probably bring me back, just to kill me all over again, Naruto said, as Yujito smiled at that. Did I ever tell you that you have a beautiful smile, said Naruto. What, Yujito said as she blushed a bit, as Naruto grabbed onto Shikamaru and jumped over the railing. Back in the stands, Kakashi, Gai, and the other Konoha Shinobis were still facing off against the enemy. After defeating two more sound shinobis, Kakashi heard Sakura cried out to him. Kakashi Sensei, Gara and his team has left the arena and Sasuke went after them. Damn it, Kakashi thought, as he knew Sasuke couldn't defeat Gara on his own, especially when he used that power. As he then walked over to Hinata and Sakura, Hinata, I want you to go over to the academy students and help Iruka, said Kakashi. Yes, Kakashi Sensei said Hinata, as she then went off. Once Hinata left, Kakashi then turned to Sakura. Sakura, I want you to dispel the Genjutsu and Ino and wake her up and then go and find Naruto and Shikamaru. But why? asked Sakura. Because I have a mission for you, said Kakashi. A mission? said Sakura. Yeah, it's an A rank mission. And you guys won't have any backup. That is why I want you all to proceed with caution. What do you mean, Sensei? What do you want us to do? I want you all to go after Sasuke and back him up, said Kakashi. But why just the four of us? Shouldn't I also wake Kiba and Choji up so we will have a bigger group? No, with so many enemies here, a group bigger than a four-man team would be noticed easily. That is why I sent Hinata to Iruka and the kids where she will be safe because she is still recovering from her injuries. But how will we find Sasuke and know which way he went? Don't worry, I already thought about that as Kakashi then cut his thumb with the kunai as he ran through hand sign and slammed it on the ground as he summoned his dog. Pakon, help her find Sasuke, said Kakashi was urgent in his voice as he then rushed off to join back the battle. Okay, said Sakura, as she was not so sure about the dog, but she went over to Ino, as she then used again Jutsu and wake her up, as Sakura then explained what was going on. When Sakura finished explaining the details of their mission, Ino quickly find out what they needed to do. If you two are finished talking, we need to find Naruto and this other kid, said Pakan, surprising the two girls. Did that dog just talk? asked Ino in surprise. Yes I did, Pakan said. I am a talking summon. As they got over their shock as Pakan told them to follow him. As they were walking trying to get out of the way and that no enemy shinobis would notice them. As Sakura then noticed a kunai coming towards Ino. As she was too late to get her a friend. But before the kunai could do any damage, a figure appeared in front of her. As he knocked away the kunai. As Ino realized what happened, Naruto she said as she jumped on top of him as he fell to the ground. You saved me, Ino please, this isn't time for this, said Naruto as he got up and she got off of him. Sorry about that, she said. So, what are you guys doing here? It's dangerous, Naruto said as he looked at the two Kunoichi. We're looking for you and Shikamaru, said Sakura. Speaking of which, where is that lazy ass, Ino asked. I am here, said Shikamaru, as he was currently crawling between the stands. Shikamaru, you idiot, where have you been? Please, Ino, stop being so loud. Do you want the enemy to hear us? He's right. Now hurry up and fill them in on what's happening, said Pakan as he looked at Sakura. We don't have time. Huh? A talking dog, said Naruto, as Shikamaru just looked at the talking dog without saying anything as he sighed. As Sakura then told them the details of the mission. Alright, said Naruto. As they all went off, following behind Pakon. Back on the roof, Saratobi got free. As him, Orochimaru, and Jiraiya and Sanadi were ready to face off. Orochimaru chuckled to think, I get to fight you all again. This truly is like old time. 
He said that smirk. No, that sensei is free. We can get him out of here. All we have to do is take out one of Orchimaru's people and the barrier will fall. Jiraiya thought. After that, the Anvu can take Sensei to safety and Sanadi and I can deal with Orchimaru. As if reading their mind, the four Son Shinobis extended the barrier, protecting themselves in a small barrier as well. Guess I spoke too soon, Jiraiya said to himself. Before we begin, I would like to compliment you, Sanadi. Compliment me on what, said Sanadi. I want to compliment you and Jiraiya for doing such a great job on Naruto and raising him. He's such a great find, him having the Mokitan bloodline and his other talents. In fact, he remind me of your great dear little brother, Nawaki. Orochimaru said a slight smile as he noticed Naruto was just like him, his personality and a few of his features. Although, unlike Naruto, dear Nawaki was not shown any promise like your son. That is why his life was cut so short, said Orochimaru as he chuckled. As both Saratobe and Jiraiya glared at Orochimaru, but Snade stepped forward as she braked the tile beneath her because of the force that she was running with. You bastard, I'll kill you, Snade growled out. Orochimaru chuckled Snade was always eased the anger as he qu quickly sidestepped Snade's punch. But as soon as he was up in the air, Saratobi used the roof tile shuriken technique and launched the roof tiles at him. Not good enough, said Orochimaru as he dodged them, as he then turned his tongue into a snake as it rushed at Saratobi and then bit him in his neck. But just when he think that he had his teacher, Saratobi's body turned into mud, earth style shadow clone. After realizing that he was tricked, Orochimaru was sent to the ground by Jiraiya. As Jiraiya kicked him hard in the back of the head, Orochimaru quickly regained his composure, but Saratobi used earth flowing river as he turned the roof tile into a mud slide, caughting Orochimaru off guard. As this was when Snade appeared behind him as she channeled a great force of her chakra into her fist as this fist would have shattered his skull but as soon as she hit him his body turned into mud as Orochimaru appeared a distance away as Sarutobi then ripped off his robe revealing that he was in his battle armor. So Sensei you are prepared said Jiraiya. As Snade cricked her knuckles, let's do this, she said. As the four of them rushed at each other, as Saratobi first threw a kunai as he ran through hand sign, as the kunai then multiply. At the same time, Jiraiya used the dragon fire technique to envelop the kunai in fire as they came at Orochimaru. Orochimaru quickly ran through hand sign as he slammed his hand together, Edo Tensei, reanimation as coffins rose up out of the ground as all of the kunais hit the coffin as two coffins were already up as they defended Orochimaru from the flaming kunais now third said Orochimaru I can't let him do that a third time said Snadi as she leapt up in the air as she slammed her fist into the third coffin as it then broke back down into the ground so the third one failed thought Orochimaru, but it doesn't matter. Now it's time for this battle to be over. Good work Snadi, you prevented the third coffin, said Jiraiya. We are still in trouble, as depend on who is in those coffins, said Snadi, as she knew this jutsu that revived the dead. Now, said Orochimaru, as the coffin lid fall open, as Saratobi and Snade eyes went wide as Senju Hoshirama and Tobirama Senju were in the coffins. Outside of the barrier, Raikage, is that who I think it is? See, asked in shock. Yes, said the Raikage as he looked at the first and the second Okage. Orochimaru growled at angry Saratobi. Damn you, Jiraiya said as he glared at his former best friend as Snade was clenching her fist as Orochimaru chuckled. What's wrong? It was 
three on one. Now I have even the odds. Are you guys scared or Timar acts? At the same time, the two former Hokages stepped out of the coffin as they walked forward. It's been a long time, said Hoshirama. As he looked at Saratobi, you have aged, said Tobirama. And you, Snave, you have grown up, Hashirama said as he looked at his granddaughter. Tsunade started to shake. Orochimaru, I am going to kill you for this, she said, as rage built up inside of her. But guys, gonna be in this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on that bell notification to stay posted. Remember to share to all of your friends on your social media platform. And also go ahead and check out Uchi and Naruto the Sage. And what if Naruto got a new bloodline? I did the last episode of that on Anime King 2, so go ahead and enjoy. And for now, I'm out of here guys. Peace.